My name is Dr Miles Russell, I'm Director of Archaeological Fieldwork at Bournemouth University and you're visiting us today, uh, we're in the final stages of a five week uh, training excavation for our students and for local volunteers here at Winterbourne Kingston and it's a large prehistoric settlement we've been looking at and our students are currently investigating a whole series of internal features, storage pits, ditches and in some cases burials too. We've got a possibly, most likely Iron Age um, burial. As of today, we have leveled off the bottom and we have come across the pelvis and are slowly exposing more. And we're hoping we will be able to get the whole skeleton out today and if there is anything accompanying it, like pots or other burial goods, um, that would be a great bonus as well. I've been digging this ditch, burned two pits for the last couple of days. I found something quite interesting around the top layers. I found this lovely, I'd say Bronze Age, Iron Age ring. It's quite unusual to find stuff like this because it's a surplus status item. But again, it's a lovely show of wealth and power that must have been up on this site. Uh, articulated bones like this uh, hind limb here from the horse, which we believe are either placed offerings but can also be uh, grave goods. So we tend to find joints of meat uh, alongside pottery and metal objects in human remains. What we're finding up here is not just the, the Iron Age settlement, which is 2,000 years old, but we're getting a much sort of greater depth uh, of prehistoric activity up here. So we've got a number of Bronze Age burials. We've had one this year uh, of, a, of an adult male uh, in a very, very tightly packed grave, but with lots of collared urn, which is very distinctive of, of a time at the very end of the Neolithic and beginning of the early Bronze Age. So it's about 4,000 years old. So that's giving us an idea that people have been living here for some significant amount of time. And it's not just the, the period just before the Romans, but they are farming this landscape, they are sort of growing crops, they're burying their dead here for at least four millennia. 